What's up, everyone? Eric with Ham Radio Concepts, KJ4YZI. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Like and share on Facebook so you'll get instant updates as when videos like this are uploaded. And you can follow along and hopefully learn in this vast hobby we call amateur radio. Perfect time for a video. It's been raining for two hours. My Davis weather station, my Vantage Pro 2, is showing me I've gotten in, uh, 1.6 inches in the last hour and a half. So it's raining cats and dogs. What I'm going to show you here is something that is not new, but may be new for you. Now, I'm going to show you what you can do with this site, which is called PSK Reporter. Now, don't let the name fool you. It is not just for PSK. But I'm going to go back and relive something I preach over and over again because I'm firm on it. You can't go to your favorite site and look on the solar terrestrial data or the forecast for the bands and see if they're in poor shape and not turn the radio on. There's always propagation somewhere. Your signal is always being heard somewhere. And if you're not out there calling CQ or you're not out there scrolling the bands, you're going to miss out. Because I know we're going into a low solar cycle, but there's always somebody out there that can hear you. So I encourage you to get on the bands. Let's light them up. Let's make some more action and not just judge by a chart online. So PSK Reporter is showing me a lot of colored dots. The colored dots are representing different signals being reported on all different bands with all different modes. Now on the top of this page, you have a lot of drop-down boxes here and a lot of different colors representing each band. What I'm going to do is I'm going to filter this out, show you about this. And about an hour and a half ago, I got on the digital mode JT9 on 30 meters. Now, I was scrolling around, didn't see too much on the JT9, all FT8, but I wanted to throw a single CQ out and see where that JT9 signal went. And JT9 is very efficient. It's a very weak signal mode, so it comes in, you can be decoded well below the noise floor. So at 5 watts, that's as low as this radio will go that I'm using, but I encourage you to try JT9 at 1 watt. And that video is coming up soon, so by the time you watch this, hopefully you can see my JT9 video as well as other ones I have. So I threw a single call out at 5 watts on JT9 with my high gain AV680 on 30 meters. So that's what I'm going to look at up top. On 30 meters, I want this map to show signals received by anyone using JT9 over the last two hours. Now you can pick any band that you want that you're using. You can received by or sent by using any a lot of digital modes here okay and this is a propagation reporter more or less and we're going to click go now it just cleaned up that map a lot and what i see right here on this dot in florida is my little signal on the bottom left it shows me from kj4 yzi and the lines are indicating my signal was received all the way across the pond at 5 watts on JT9, 30 meters, to UK, Golf 8, Delta, Juliet, Foxtrot, as well as W7, AMI. Okay? So right there, I'm seeing that my signal, my little 5-watt JT9 signal, made it across the pond to the station over here. Now, there is not somebody who necessarily is sitting there. This is pretty much automatic. I invite you to try this and be a reporter also. I'll get into that in a second. But it's built into a lot of software. I use Digital Master 780 with Ham Radio Deluxe. And with the software FL Digi or WSJTX, it is seeing all the signals that you're seeing on the waterfall, and it's capturing those signals, and it's in a format, and it's putting them on the site. So this station, this person has probably been in bed for two hours. But his station, or receiver, or whatever, picked up my signal and posted it on the site, as well as this station over here, who is still daylight over there. So right there, I can see that I have some sort of propagation and good signal on JT9 going to UK and northwestern United States. That tells me right now, A, that my antenna is working. B, 30 meters has some propagation, DX. And C, there are other stations out here. Even though I might not be able to hear them, they're there. 
Now, to give an idea of the site for testing, uh, I've done videos in the past with the little stealth dipoles, the micro dipoles that I had in my go kit or have in my go kit from Tim Ortiz, who builds them and sells them on eBay. Now, Tim Ortiz did not reinvent the wheel. However, he makes these nice little nifty three ounce dipoles that fit in your bag, go with you. And he included, he tested each individual one of those. He hooked it up to a receiver or a transmitter or whatever he did. He included a printout of it on the band that it was designed for over a two hour or one hour or 30 minute period. And he showed that it is receiving and sending signals. You can see the data that he printed out. So I knew that antenna was working when he set it up. And I, I get a little peace of mind when I'm ordering it. But that's a whole separate video. So I can see in this one, you know, I invite you to make some kind of antenna that you don't know if it's going to work. And throw some digital signals out and see if they're being received somewhere. This was one CQ. If I threw CQ, CQ out four, five, six, seven times at five watts, I might have had my propagation or, or my signal being received all over the place. Now, of course, nobody lives in the middle of Africa with this kind of setup. That's why you see no propagation here. However, I guarantee signals are going that way. It's just that nobody has any setup here to report that. Now, if you're not, let's say you're going on, let's say, well, 20 meters is dead. Okay. 20 meters using FT8, which is a new digital mode I did a video on, which is pretty popular. It's everywhere. Over the last 15 minutes, I want to see all the FT8 signals that were picked up and reported on 20 meters in the last 15 minutes. And it is covered. So there is some signals being heard in Europe. A lot being heard. There's some being heard in Japan, Australia, New Zealand, South America. So that's showing me there's propagation. This is real time. This is happening right now. Every time somebody gets a signal and their software processes it, it puts it on the map. All right. If I go to 40 meters, let's do this. Let's go to 6 meters. Oh, 6 meters is dead. It's over. It's not summer anymore. FT8 on 6 meters in the last 15 minutes. Look at this. So there is some to Japan. There's mostly stateside, with a few exceptions of somebody in Iceland that picked it up, Alaska, Venezuela. So I can see 6 meters has some sort of propagation here. Okay? Real time. And this is not people that are doing that, much like this site here is people that are putting in the spots. So... This looks a lot like DX maps, which I use a lot, but I don't just go by this. You know, if I lived over here in uh, South America and I see this, I'm not going to say, well, no propagation because it may be people are not sending spots here. There may be plenty of propagation. I may have a pileup in Brazil if I lived there talking to the U.S. DX. So let's try one more. Let's go to 40 meters using... Uh, FT8, new mode, last 15 minutes. Look at that. Plenty of DX being received in, U in Europe and South America on the spotter network. So I can use this again to see if my antenna is working, where my signals are being heard, where the signals are going. And again, JT65, FT8, JT9, those are all weak signal efficient modes. So it doesn't necessarily mean that I can get on here and call CQ on phone and it's going to work. But you probably have a better chance on CW, but for the digital junkies out there, digital may work for you here at this current time. Uh, but a great way to see if that antenna you got is working. I invite you to load this up, send out a couple CQs on a digital mode, and see where that antenna is getting. Dial it down to 5 watts and call CQ 4 or 5 times. Come back here in a couple minutes and see if you if your signal is there. Like you can go 40, I can go uh, 30 meters. If you want to do it this way, you can go to sent by call sign KJ4YZI using JT9 in the last two hours. That's me. 30 meters, show me signals that were sent by KJ4YZI using JT9 in the last two hours. See? There I am. And it shows me 101 minutes ago, there were my signals. This was 2,200 miles. This was, oh, well, it doesn't tell me. 
6,940 kilometers. Okay, so a great site here to know, a great site to use for testing, a great site to really see the propagation, to get on digital modes, to try CW and see what's going on. I hope in this 10 minute video you learned something. I want to know what you think about it and how you've used it. Put a comment on the video. Comments are welcome when it's on QRZ website, but I want comments on the video. Give a like on the video if you can. Let me know your experience with this. And uh, more videos on the way, so stay tuned. 7-3 guys, thank you very much for watching from KJ4YZI.